initiating setup for remote access. State of Wyoming's VPN solution. To leverage the State of Wyoming virtual private network portal for remote access, you will need to use the Chrome web browser. In order to request VPN remote access, human resources or an agency director designee will need to submit a Google form on your behalf. Once approved, you'll receive an email from this email address as seen in the video. When you open that email, there will be a QR code to access your VPN account and an attachment for assistance. In the email, click on the link that says Google Authenticator for Chrome. Once you click on that, select Add to Chrome. You will see a pop-up. Please click Add Extension to finish installing the Authenticator app. When the extension is finished installing, a new web page will open. You can close this window, as well as the Web Store extension page. You should now see an icon in the upper right hand corner of your Chrome browser, just like the one you see on your screen. Return to your email. To add the QR code, click the Authenticator icon in the upper right hand corner of your browser. Once you click on that, you'll see two other icons, a minus symbol and a pencil symbol. Click on the minus symbol and then return to your QR email and like you see in the video, click and drag a box around the QR code including the numbers below the code and then click OK. You will know it's been successful because a message will come up saying you have been added. If that doesn't work, you can select the pencil icon, click the plus, click manual entry, type your name into the account name field, paste the copied code in the secret field, leave the drop down as time based and select OK, just like you see on the image on your screen. Once you've been added, go ahead and click on the authenticator icon in the upper right hand corner. You'll see a six digit code that you will need to use in the login steps next. Don't copy the code that you see on your screen now because this code automatically changes every 30 seconds for security purposes. You have now successfully set up your VPN. Let's go ahead and move on to the next steps to log into the VPN. You're now ready to log in to the state of Wyoming Portal 2 VPN to access the state network and application. In Chrome, go ahead and type in the web address that you see on your screen. Use your current wyo.gov Active Directory account credentials. If you don't know what that is, this is just your computer login, name and password. This is not your Gmail. So go ahead and type in your username and password. After signing in by selecting sign in, you will see a two-factor authentication message challenge screen appear. This is where you enter the six digit code from the Authenticator app. Once again, to get that code, select on the Authenticator icon in the upper right hand corner and type in the six digit code that appears. Once you've typed the code in the box and you've clicked on submit, when successful, you will see the following screen appear. Remember, these codes change every 30 seconds. Do not attempt to reuse the codes. Click on the connect button to connect to the VPN. You can find the connect button under the native applications portion of the screen. Once you've selected the connect button to connect to the VPN, first time users will need to download and install the software Checkpoint Mobile Agent. Click on Click here to download the Checkpoint Mobile Agent to begin. Once you've selected that, you'll see the file in the bottom left hand corner of your browser. You can double click the .msi file to install, or you can click on that arrow and select Open. Follow the download instructions as prompted on your screen. Click Yes to install the certificate. Another message will pop up. Click on Trust Server to finish the installation. Congratulations! You can now use your browser to access any state-only websites like Wolf's, MSS, and HRM Payroll 
or resources you have permission to access. You will need to leave the Portal 2 tab open for the duration of your session. When you're done with your session, simply select Sign Out. Always remember, if you need assistance or the process does not authenticate successfully, please contact the ETS Help Desk by calling 307-777-5000. Make sure you subscribe to the ETS Learning and Communication Team's YouTube page so you stay notified when we upload new videos.